Welcome back guys to another video and today I'm going to show you how to set up awesome miner and this miner was really big unexpected surprise for me so I just downloaded it yesterday and it seems like the profits can be even up to 50% better at times than mining with nice hash and of course you will be able to taste it for yourself and I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'm going to show you my own profits with nice hash versus the awesome miner so first you will have to download it, you can go to awesomeminer.com, click this download link here and you can download it and install it. So when you first install it, you will see a screen like this. But if you don't see a screen like this, you can click over here on main and then over here on miners. First, uh, this will be empty here, you won't see your GPU here because you have to set up your miners. So you can click over here on new miner and this screen here will open. So just click next. Over here you have to click on Managed Profit Miner. So the awesome miner can do automatically algorithm switching just like NiceHash to automatically uh, mine the most profitable coin at times. So just click over here next, give it a name, whatever name you want. I'm going to call it for example like Miner1 and over here you have to select if you have an AMD or Nvidia GPU. So don't get this wrong. So I'm going to click on Nvidia GPU and click next and over here you can just click finish and your miner should appear right here so the next thing we have to do is set up which algorithms we want to enable for a miner and which pools do we want to connect on so to do all of this you just click options right here and this screen like this will open for you. So we have a lot of different options right here and you can play with many different uh, options to configure it to your liking. But I'm going to show you the basic options which you need to configure just to get your miner working and start mining the most profitable coin without any problems. So let's just go through the options and see what do we really need. Over here on managed miners, you should be able to see one or both of your GPUs or how many of them do you have uh, set up. If your miner doesn't show up right here, then just go through the process of adding a new miner again because you probably made some kind of mistake. So the next thing we need to do is go over here to algorithms and you want to enable every single algorithm that is supported on your GPU. So you can just click select all and just scroll through them to see if all of them are selected and just click OK. So the thing that you are doing right here is enabling your GPU to be able to mine every single available algorithm and of course more algorithms do you have, more options for profitable mining you have. The next thing you have to do is go over here to profit switching and over here you have many different pools on which you can connect. Um, for example, I have chosen just a Z-Pool because Z-Pool seems to be giving me the best profits. But of course you can select every single pool, even nice hash pool, and your miner will automatically start switching between those pools when some coin is more profitable. But the problem is when you have so many different pools, so many different coins, and so many different algorithms, miner sometimes gets really confused and it starts mining less profitable coin. So to just start it up, I would suggest you to use Z-Pool and over here enter your Bitcoin address. So you can enter address uh, which you are using uh, from the exchanges or the address on which you are mining from NiceHash. But don't use NiceHash internal wallet, you can use any external wallet that you want. Over here switching interval minutes, you can set this up to any number you want. I have it set it up at 20, so every 20 minutes it checks out for the most profitable coin again and starts mining that. If you want to enable profit switch threshold, you can set it up to like 1%, 2 or 3. So automatically when the awesome miner sees that something is 1, 2 or 3% more profitable, it will start mining that. But to avoid market manipulation, you can just uh, leave it empty and have this set 20. And be sure to have this option right here, select Bitcoin payout for YIMP based pools checked. You need this checked because you don't want to be paid on your Bitcoin address in some other coins other than Bitcoin. So just have it set it up like this and everything should work perfectly fine. The next thing we want to do is go here to profit profiles. So if you have AMD GPU, you click on this. But if you have NVIDIA GPU, you click on this and the same screen should open. So let's just click on NVIDIA GPU since I have GTX 180 Ti. Double click on that and screen like this will open. 
So over here you can select any single miner that you want to enable for your GPU. And I have selected every single miner that says NVIDIA GPU or AMD and NVIDIA. So of course if you have AMD you won't select the miners that I did, you will select every, every single miner that says AMD GPU. And this will enable every single miner that your GPU supports. So just click on every single NVIDIA or every single AMD uh, checkbox and then press OK. So now we are almost done. The only thing that we have left to do is just click OK right here and we have to run benchmarks for our GPUs. So over here click on your miner that you want to use, click over here on tools and then click on benchmark. A screen like this should open. So be sure to have over here AMD if you have AMD GPU or NVIDIA if you have an NVIDIA GPU. And you can just select every single miner that you want and just press start and benchmarks should start running. Over here you have two options for fast and for precise benchmarks and you, you can just use fast benchmarks because it will give you almost exactly the same results and it is done really, really fast. So once your benchmarks are done running, don't click uh, close over here. You actually want to click save to profile. And if you did this correctly, over here in configured hash rate, it should show your benchmark results right here in configured hash rate. Because if you don't click over here save to profile, it will forget your results and it will start mining with a hash rate that it thinks it will have configured in advance. And that won't work because some of those hash rates that they think that you will get on your GPU are a lot lower than you actually get. So now when you have everything set up like I showed you, you are actually ready to start mining and you, you can click over here on close. And to start mining you just right click on your um, miner that you have made and over here click on start. And right now it should start mining the most profitable coin. So you can see that it connected to Zipu and it is mining with Lira 2 revision 2 algorithm. It takes a little bit longer to start seeing the profits that you get but you will see that they are actually a lot higher than on NiceEdge. So at my GTX 180 Ti, currently I am getting two dollars and ninety nine cents, and I have, and I haven't seen that high of profits for my GPU in months, maybe. And over here you can see how much your GPU is making per month. So my GPU is right now making ninety five dollars and forty one cent per month. So this is a lot higher than I have seen on Nice Hash in a long time. So just give it a few minutes to get that hash rate up. It should be about 70 to 71 mega hashes per second, depending on the model of the GPU that you have. But even though on nice hash I get higher hash rates, I still get lower payouts. So $3.15 per day on GTX 180 Ti, and now let's compare that to nice hash. But first we have to write the here and stop this miner. So now let's just start the NiceEdge Miner version 2.022, which is the newest version, and see how much we are getting in profits compared to the awesome miner. So click start, give it a few seconds to load, and we should see almost for sure lower profits. So you can see that we are getting $2.56 or 29,000 Satoshis on GTX 180 Ti, but on awesome miner we were getting $3.13. So, awesome miner is right now up to 20 to 30 percent better on mining Lira 2 Revision 2. You can see that we are mining that right now, and that we are getting almost exactly the same hash rate. Almost exactly the same hash rate, but 30 percent lower profits. But sometimes it can go even up to like 50 percent in profits, and this is really insane. This is like having two extra GPUs in your six GPU mining rig, or even up to three extra GPUs. So hopefully you did this test for yourself and you can see if profits are better for you on a awesome miner or on nice session. Of course they should be better on awesome miner. If you want to see how much you actually made, if you for example mined for one day and you want to check your balance, you have to click over here on balance. And this screen will open right here and you will see all the pools that you selected to be able to mine on. For example, I have just Zipple selected. You can click over here on Zipple, check your Bitcoin address once again and you will see that this is the correct address on which you are mining. And over here you can see the unpaid balance and how much that is right now in dollars. 
So when do you actually get paid by mining like this? Now that can be really different depending on different pools. Some pools will pay out to you when you reach like 0.01, some will do like 0.02 and some can even do 0.00. One. So it really depends on the pool and on the profits that they decide to pay out and when that is. Over here you can see your recent payouts, how much you got paid the last time when you did, and when you actually get paid, you can compare that to the NYSEG. For example, you can mine one week on Zpool using Awesome Miner and then one week on the NYSEG, and you can compare those profits by looking at the recent payouts. So hopefully this miner will give you higher profits like, like it did for me and we can all get a little bit faster return on investment on our GPUs. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if it worked for you or if you have some problems and see you soon in another video. Bye.